What's up, y'all? We're going to integrate e to the negative x squared from negative infinity to infinity. This is a Gaussian function, and we're going to do this using polar coordinates, and it's going to be awesome. Now, this is a very short evaluation here. I did, I'm going through it very, very quickly. If you want to see a detailed step-by-step -step version, check out my video on that. Uh, but anyways, here we go. We're going to set the integral equal to i, and then we're going to rewrite this integral in terms of y instead of x. And we could do that. This is the same integral. It's just using a different letter. And now we're going to multiply these two equations together. The left-hand side becomes i squared. And then the right-hand side is these two multiplied together. And we could move things around because they're multiplied together. Uh, so this is the integrand here. And now if we invoke the uh, exponent law, we can add the exponents, so negative x squared plus y squared, and at this point, we're going to convert to polar coordinates. Now, I'm not going deep into how to do polar coordinates, but essentially, x and y both go from negative infinity to infinity, so in polar coordinates, r is going to go from 0 to infinity, and theta is going to go from 0 to 2 pi. So r in terms of x and y it, using the Pythagorean theorem is r squared equals x squared plus y squared and then dx dy equals r dr d theta. Again this is just an artifact of how to convert to polar coordinates. I went in detail of how to get this uh, but we're just going to like use this result. In terms of the limits r is going to go from 0 to infinity and theta is going to go from 0 to 2 pi. So if we rewrite this integral of x and y in terms of theta and r this is what we get. Theta is going from 0 to 2 pi, and r is going from 0 to infinity. And rather than x squared plus y squared in the exponent here, we have an r squared. And this is our r dr at this point. And we've separated the variables because the integral of theta doesn't depend on r and vice versa. Okay, at this point, we can integrate it. To integrate the right-hand side, we're going to invoke the, uh, we're going to do a u substitution, so we'll set u equal to r squared, and if we take the derivative, du dr equals dr, and at this point we can plug that in, so the left-hand integral stays the same, this right integral becomes the integral of e to the negative u rather than r squared because of our substitution, and if you solve this equation for r dr, we get multiply both sides by dr, divide by 2, r dr equals du divided by 2. So we substitute that in. And at this point, my friends, we can integrate the integral of d theta is our friend theta uh, from 0 to 2 pi. So we just evaluated with the, at those limits right there. This 1 half, we get yanked out. And the integral of e to the negative u is e to the negative u. It's itself <laughs> uh, with a negative sign. So that's the negative sign right here. And we're evaluating it from the two limits. So as u goes to infinity, but we'll set it as another variable just to be a little more precise here since we can't plug in infinity. Infinity is not a number, so it's the limit as a goes to infinity of e to the negative a uh, minus e to the zero because that's our lower limit right here. And this term goes to zero as a goes to infinity and e to the zero is one. So if we simplify all of this stuff, we get i squared equals pi. This two cancels and this negative from the negative one cancels with this negative right here. So we're left with pi. And if we take the square root, we get our integral i is equal to plus or minus the square root of pi. But we can reject the negative sign because our function that we're integrating is always above the x-axis. So it's always positive. It's always above that horizontal axis. So because of that, we can proudly say that our integral is root pi and we're done. We're happy. Yo, hope you enjoyed it. Hang in there. I know integrals are not easy to learn, but the more you do, the better you'll get. You can survive. I've got tons and tons and tons of other videos. Uh, hang in there. Cheers.